For you at 4 after spending days protesting and living in tents on the front lawn of the University of Minnesota, student demonstrators met with the university's interim president this morning to discuss their demands to support the people of Palestine. Jeremiah Jacobson has our story. Quiet at the U of M encampment. We've had quiet time. People have been studying for finals. Quiet, like the buildings surrounding it. We are not in control of that. The people who are causing the shutdown are the people in charge. <laughs> quiet campus now. Not always the case. Trying to flush us out and trying to get us off at the lawn here and try to get us out of campus. A student organizer here says he feels the university is clamping down on his First Amendment rights. The university maintains it supports the right to free speech. But just last week, nine protesters were arrested at the U. So where do they draw the line? But they have to tread very carefully because of the First Amendment. I mean, colleges are essentially a place of the free exchange of ideas. Martin Azarian is an attorney working many cases involving the First Amendment. He says the First Amendment does protect the right to free speech and to gather for the demonstrators as long as they stay peaceful. If the police have to use force to essentially rein in the protesters to preserve life, liberty, property, things of that nature, then we begin to encroach upon the area of criminal law or criminal activity. And that would be very bad for the protesters. That could also apply to what they're saying. Well, Jen Kirtley is a professor yeah, at the U studying media ethics and law. She says the context and tone of what they're saying also matters. Just because somebody is offended by what you have to say, it doesn't mean it's not protected by the First Amendment. I asked Kirtley about stopping students from camping. She says the university can impose a ban on camping there if it's upheld for everyone. To, to just say across the board, no, you cannot protest in this place that has historically been a place for student gatherings and protests is problematic unless they're engaging in otherwise illegal behavior. Now, as for the future of the encampment, attorneys say that the First Amendment does protect students' right to free speech and gathering as long as demonstrators can remain peaceful. However, the university can impose a ban on camping if it's upheld for all groups, although legal sources say that the ban can be shaky.